the mountains are calling. We're here with the hottest new bike on the adventure bike scene, Honda's all new XL750 Trans Out. The Trans Out name is legendary. It first came out in 1986 and was renowned as a mid-sized adventure bike that could do anything. And this latest Trans Out is no different. It will do anything. All the features you'll ever need, packed with technology, and it just looks stunning. The Trans Out was built on Honda's awesome new 750 platform, and practically every component is brand new from the ground up. This all new 750 parallel twin produces 91 horsepower and it does it at about 9,000 RPM. This bike really just revs and I was so surprised at how much power it makes for a 750. But it's not all about that top end. This amazing new motor produces 75 Newton meters of torque. And even more impressive to me is how this engine delivers that power. Right from that first moment when I let the clutch out, I could feel that the power was smooth. Transferring that power is a six speed manual gearbox and an assist slipper clutch, which lightens that lever pull and helps smooth out those rapid downshifts. The Trans Out comes with a range of rider modes, starting with Sport, where you've got maximum power and maximum ABS, down to Standard, which is kind of a balance, and then you've got Rain, where you're cutting the power down and you're keeping the traction control and ABS at maximum. Gravel is maximum engine braking, most traction control, but only half the ABS. And then you get to the user programmable mode, which I love. It allows me to tune the trans out exactly how I need it to be. The other thing that really excited me about the trans out was it's relatively lightweight at only 208 kgs. A big part of that is thanks to this amazing chassis at only 18.3 kgs. This awesome engine and chassis combines with a really nice suspension setup. Up front, you've got 43 mm shower forks with 200 mm travel. And on the back, you've got an aluminium hybrid Pro-Link swing arm with 190 mm travel on the shop. All of this is designed to help keep the suspension components as light as possible. The Trans Out has heaps of stopping power, even when you're fully loaded up touring on the road. Up front, you've got twin 310mm discs and a 256mm disc on the rear. Full ABS with the option to turn the rear ABS off, which of course helps you when you're off-road. The bike that I have here has a range of accessories that really complement the bike and can be found at your local Honda dealer. We've got a taller screen, giving you more wind protection, especially for those taller riders, front fog lights, giving you more visibility and helping you to be more visible. You've got this trick looking radiator guard on the front, adding extra protection, and this big bash plate down the bottom, protecting your investment, especially if you're spending more time off-road. You've got this nice tank bag for holding your map and your phones and other small items that you want easy access to, and these nice wraparound handguards that protect your hands when you're off-road and help keep the cool air off them when you're touring. And when you're covering lots of miles, you've got nice panniers and top box here for carrying all that extra luggage. And something that I really like about these is how easy they are to remove and bring them inside when you reach your destination. And the good thing with these accessories is they're genuine Honda, which means that they're just as well made as the bike. Sitting on it is nice and comfortable with a nice low seat height of 850 mil. And as for the gas tank, it's nice and narrow between your legs, which gives good maneuverability, but it still holds 16.9 litres for that extra range that you're going to need. I feel like the handlebars are a nice compromise between comfort sitting down on road and then being able to stand up off road. You've got these nice high mirrors, which make it easy to see what's happening behind you. And this beautiful five inch TFT dash, which shows you all the information you need to know about the bike and what's happening. Along with all the usual information like your speedo, your revs, your fuel consumption, it's really easy to see which rider mode you're in and what settings you've got in that mode. So, who is the Trans Out for? I think anybody who wants an adventure would love this bike. But especially for the more experienced rider, maybe they want to go up and down the country fully loaded up, 
but then be able to take it off-road and handle whatever obstacle gets thrown at you. So if you're looking for a lightweight, modern adventure bike that you can tour to up and tackle any off-road track, then this could be the bike for you. Go and see your local Honda dealer and check one out for yourself.